Hi, welcome to Bank Reconciliation and Dynamics NAV. Bank recs are an important accounting procedure performed by companies of all sizes to match the cash balance of the bank with the balance found in your co company's financial records. To get to the bank rec window, you can use the search function. To generate a new bank rec, you can click on the plus icon. In the general section, you'll have to fill out the following information. Your bank account name. As you can see, Dynamics Nav has automatically populated a statement number. After you've entered a statement number and post the bank rec, the statement number is updated with the next consecutive number the next time you perform a bank rec for this bank account. The statement date field specifies the date on the bank account statement received from the bank. The balance last statement field displays the ending balance shown on the last bank statement. Because it's the first time I'm doing a bank rec for this account, the balance is zero. And the statement ending balance field displays the ending balance shown on the last bank statement. The bank reconciliation window is divided into two panes. The left pane contains the bank statement lines, and the right pane contains the bank account ledger entries. There are three ways to enter bank statement lines. You can either use the import bank statement function, which will allow you to import electronic bank statements from your bank depending on the file format supported by NAV, which you'll set up everything beforehand in the bank account card. You can use the suggest line function if you don't have a file with your bank statement. The NAV will fill the lines with suggested entries, and then you can manually check and adjust any differences from the actual bank statement or you can enter in lines manually. As you can see, the total balance and the balance to reconcile are the same. So in a perfect scenario like this, you'll be able to post. Say I imported a bank statement. You must make sure that every bank statement line can be reconciled with one or more related bank ledger entries. The activity of finding and preparing to reconcile related bank ledger entries is referred to as matching. Dynamic Snap has made it easy for you to match entries by using the automatic or manually matching function to match lines in the two panes. The statement match function is based on prioritized criteria. First, the function tries to match the amounts. Then it tries to match the text in certain fields. And last, it tries to match the dates. As you can see here, I added a new line so you'll be able to see how the match manually function works as well. When you click match automatically, this pop-up will prompt you to enter a transaction date tolerance in days, which specifies the span of days before and after the bank account ledger entry posting date. They're able to match seven out of the eight lines in the bank rec because I added a line that doesn't exist in the bank account ledger entry. If you had a transaction that is not recorded in the bank account ledger entry, you can add it by selecting the transfer to general journal button. It's recommended that you create a specific batch for the bank account because if you have miscellaneous transactions like bank fees, you're able to create the transaction and have it show up on the bank rec. So once you've entered in the important information, you can click post. Now you can see the bank fee transaction that I posted. Because I already matched the other transactions, I will manually match this transaction. Because my total balance and my balance to reconcile matches up, I would be able to post this bank rec. And that concludes bank reconciliation and dynamics nav. Thanks for watching.